Hi, my name is Carla de Guzman. I'm a romance writer from the Philippines. And today, I am not at home. I spent the night at um, a condominium unit in Makati. I thought I would just sleep over here for one night. I, yesterday, I did a lot of work doing the edits for the new edition of If The Dress Fits, uh, which is coming January 18th. So I did that for like half the day and then the other half of the day was just me watching the second No Dame Cantabile movie. I watch the whole series every year and like every year I find something I really love about it. It's really one of my favorites. So it was nice watching it yesterday. Um, it's actually about 11 o'clock. I just had my breakfast and pancakes in case anyone was wondering. I had pancakes from Pancake House. I have some cleanup to do before I do some work on more if the dress fits things when it comes to self-publishing my books and I kind of missed doing that. I know it's only been a book but you know I missed like setting up my own books, doing the things I like, like adding the little bits and pieces that make a book really special for me and this is like one of it so I'm going to work on that now. By the way, this these chocolate um, biscuits from Rustan's were buy one take one and I already ate one yesterday so... <laughs> Another thing that I keep forgetting that I'm supposed to work on is the condo bundle. A bunch of romance class authors um, have decided to team up and um, create a bundle for charity. And we're all writing like all new short stories for it. And the idea is that everybody lives in the same condominium unit. We were assigned tropes by roulette and I got forced proximity. So that's the story I'm working on. I started December 16th. So um, I've really enjoyed using good notes lately for my story writing. So this is the notebook for the condo bundle. Um, so I have my notes here about the condo, the amenities, some notes on um, my own characters. And these are some of the things that we discussed in a Zoom meeting when we picked our uh, tropes by Ruleta. And this is like a Pinterest board, a mood board for the story that I'm writing. Uh, because my character is a data analyst, she has all these findings about her relationship with the love interest. So I had to, I, I felt like I had to write them down. And the hard part about this story was actually coming up with what is humanly possible in the world, in the realm of data science, and what is something that um, a data scientist wouldn't know based on the algorithm or the or the analysis that I came up with. So it, it was really helpful that my brother is actually a data analyst and he did something similar for his girlfriend. So I had something to base this off of. There's that. And I also started to write the draft on good notes. Last part already, so <laughs> yeah, I just have to type this up and make sure that I have everything up to the 5,000 word count. And then, um, yeah, I should be done. But I keep forgetting that I'm supposed to do this. So I'm gonna do this now. So I finished um, writing what I had in my notes to the draft and I still lack about 1,200 words. So I'm going, I think I'm going to work on that after my lunch gets here, which is at around 2 o'clock. It's 1. <laughs> it's late, but I had breakfast late, so it's fine. Um, I think I'm just gonna go downstairs and buy coffee. I know it seems like such a small thing going downstairs to get coffee, but uh, the risk is so real and I, <laughs> I don't feel safe outside anymore. Anyway, I changed my outfit so I can go downstairs and I will be right back. <laughs> so, 
So I changed out of my outside clothes, took off the mask, took off the face shield, washed my hands up to my elbows, and now I'm, I put on some pants. And <laughs> I'm just sitting here uh, with my coffee. I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to go back out there. Like, Non-essential going out. Um, Actually, the thing I posted on Twitter that the one thing I wanted for my birthday was to go to podium and walk around and hang out in a cafe and like be with my friends and that's that's something I used to do like almost every weekend before and now like I haven't done it in in a year so it's a simple thing pero I would never I would never risk. Um, the safety of my my own safety, my family's safety, the safety of other people. It's a huge risk because there's like 14 of us. Like, we can't even go out as a group, even if it's essential. Like, it's illegal for us to go out as a group because it violates quarantine protocols. And yeah, so this me feeling not so safe outside anymore, it's, it's, it makes sense but it also makes a lot less sense when I see other people being outside with their friends, like normal, like nothing's happening, like it bothers me. So anyway, I'm gonna sit here and watch Netflix. I got Chibo for lunch because my dad hates Chibo and we never order it anymore. <laughs> um, I got the tomato soup, which is my favorite. and. For some reason, they gave me pasta water with the pasta and the sauce. I think I'm supposed to mix this here as like a salt thing. I think they just gave me parmesan, but I did get the bread. Eat the bread. And I also got the, the mint iced tea because it's my favorite thing in Chibo. I also usually order the spinach dip thing but that's too much for one person and this is already very expensive so i will stick to this for lunch while watching lupin which i'm enjoying it's stressful but i love a heist show or movie and this is my coffee i haven't finished it yet okay so i only managed to watch one episode of lupin <laughs> My friend Bea, who I've known since like literally second grade, <laughs> we we went on a video call. She caught me up on a lot of stuff. I haven't talked to her like even on video call for months. Like I don't I don't really video call my friends. It's not I'm the kind of friend who would rather be called than calling you. <laughs> like just that conversation with Bea for for an hour was was fun it was great but it's like hard to keep up like normally um it's about three o'clock i think um i want to finish my condo bundle story uh let it let it sit for like a day because sobrang atat ko <laughs> let it sit for a day before i start editing it again um i have to do yoga by five because it's a 5 p.m habit habit that i'm trying to build to do yoga at 5 p.m so 5 p.m yoga um, then shower, then clean up, then pack up all my things. Yeah, so still a full day and it's like half the day already. But anyway, I was just really glad that I got to video chat with Bea. It's been too long. But I still don't want to be the one to start the video chat. I just finished um, yoga <laughs> and something that sometimes happens when I can't turn my mind off and I start thinking of all these other things like today while I was doing the practice like the downward dogs and stuff um, I just kept thinking I don't think my story is close proximity enough like did I write the thing with the trope in mind like Am I adding the things that people like about the trope in the story that's supposed to be about that trope? And like I started going down the well of it's, it's not good enough, like I have to change it, I have to like figure out how to fix these things. And 
This is exactly why we let a story sit for one day before you read it all again and then figure out if we need to change it. <sighs> also knowing me, I will be thinking about this. <laughs> so anyway, um, done with yoga. Uh, take a shower, fix my stuff, make sure I know what time my sister's coming back. I might still have time to watch a little bit of Netflix before I leave, but we will see depending sa time. So my sister just called, which means it's time to go. Thankfully, I had enough time to clean up and shower and do all the things. And I actually managed to watch the second episode of Lupan and I will watch more in the car. It's really interesting. And I really like the lead guy, like not just visually, but because like he's so smart. Oh, and, the and the thing with the dad in the notes. Okay, super exciting. But anyway, I have to go, so. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, yeah, so my, sister, my sister's literally waiting downstairs. So thank you so much for watching this like super weird, super short vlog. Hope you liked it, like even if it was very random. And I will never, prob I will probably never do this again. So um, that's it. Thank you for watching and stay safe. Have a good day or night or whatever. And bye.